back. If you're new here, my name is Courtney, and on this channel, we do nail stuff. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I created these really cool marble nails, but before we jump into the video, go and hit the subscribe button so you can see more content like this. Let's check it out. So I've got myself a little space in a salon and it seems like all of my clients for the past couple of weeks have wanted this marble effect on their nails. So I've had quite a bit of practice with it and I'm going to show you guys everything that I've learned. So I'm going to be doing it with some purple today. I've just got this fake nail that I've been practicing on this morning, making um, a TikTok video. If you want to check that out, you can see the link in the description. Just clean that off. I will be using purples because I've already done blue and brown and orange. Um, and I'll be using some blooming gel as well. Oh, shite. Okay, so I've got a bright purple, a light purple, and this one is a glittery purple called Silent Tears from Vice Nails. My God, this is old. I've had this for many, many years. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a little palette and we're going to spread some polish across the palette. So if you wanted it to be mostly one color, then with just some accents of another color, then you would want to put a lot of the polish down that you wanted the majority of the color to be. So that's quite a thick line of light purple. I will be putting the glitter purple in between the light purple and the white so that there's good contrast and I won't be using as much as I did with the light purple because I just want it to be like a, a purple glitter accent section. I don't know, you know what I mean. So now, ooh, let's use some white as well, like I said. I'll just do a really thin layer of white. I'm running out of this one. Just put it here. Like this. Now the nail that I'm doing it on here is quite big, so I am using a long strip of polish. If you're using a shorter nail or doing it on like a natural nail like that, then obviously you won't need as much polish. Now I'll put this one at the top. Quite a bit there, but that's okay. The beautiful thing about marble, my favorite part about it is that it never turns the same, turns out the same twice. So here I have a very fine dotting tool and I will go ahead and just mix up these colors like that. And then on my nail, I'm going to apply a layer of this blooming gel. If you haven't used blooming gel before, sometimes it's called blossom gel. Um, it just helps the polish to spread out really evenly. You can use base coat as a substitute, but it doesn't work as well. You can do it without a, a blooming gel or a base coat too, but it kind of causes a little bit of problems. On these ones, I did this one and this one with the blooming gel, and they turned out really nice. This one and this one, I didn't use the blooming gel and it was too thick in some spots. It didn't cure fully here and there and it just didn't spread out. So it was very uneven in the way that it was laying. So I highly recommend using a blooming gel or else you'll have to pay a little bit more attention to well, how thick the polish is laying. So I'm not going to cure that and I'm going to go straight in with this brush. You can use a ombre brush as well. Oh yes, why don't I just wipe polish onto my finger? That was clever. Okay, let's clean this off. You can use an ombre brush, as I was saying before, one like this works as well. But I'll be using this brush because that's what I've been using all morning. So when you have it all spread out or blended together, just go in and scoop up some of your polish and then lay it down on the nail 
moving it around. When you run out, you'll want to tip your brush to the side and just kind of get rid of whatever you can. Now because this has blooming gel on it, it will start to spread on the edges and that's just what we want. So I'll just go in and continue to pick it up and lay it down. And there it is. How easy is that? Okay, well that was a really quick video. Um, you would need to cure this in your light. Make sure that you don't have any really thick spots that aren't going to cure. Um, if you do, you can use your dotting tool to kind of wipe them away or spread them out a bit more. If you didn't like the design so much, you can play around with it a bit when it's on the nail and kind of drag it into the spots that you wanted. It's really fun. You'll sit forever and play with this and your clients will all be really amazed at how quick and easy it is. So after you top coat it, I mean after you cure it, you're going to want to top coat it and that's you done. How easy is that? You can play around with lots of different colors. If you want to show me what you've created, I would love to see it. Please tag me in all your photos on your social media and you can check out my social media as well. Um, and that's it. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you next time.